Bob Deeks from RDC Fine Homes and I am standing out in front of our net zero renovation here in beautiful Whistler, British Columbia. Uh, if you don't know what a net zero renovation is, it is a house that is being renovated so that it can produce as much energy as it uses through the solar panels that are going to go on its roof when the project is nearly complete. Uh, for those of you who don't know RDC Fine Homes, we are a leader in energy efficient, sustainable residential luxury construction here in Whistler, British Columbia, working uh, Pemberton, Whistler, Squamish, and all the way down uh, to the North Shore through West Vancouver and North Vancouver. Uh, and we are very excited uh, to be working on our second net zero renovation here in Whistler. Uh, so let's go on inside and uh, I'll show you the progress to date um, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about what's to come. We're going in from the garage into uh, the new mudroom on the lower floor. As you can see, uh, framing is uh, generally complete down here. Plumbers have been working uh, on the rough ends last week. Uh, we are about three weeks away from uh, getting our windows and moving on to insulation. Great shot of the backyard out there. Uh, creek in beyond the gate. Really lovely private spot here, very, very close to... Uh, the ski hill actually in the village. It's about a 15 minute walk from this location into the Whistler village. Let's go on upstairs uh, and we'll have a look at the main kitchen, living room, dining room floor. Some exciting um, uh, developments over the last week or so. Uh, this area is going to be bedrooms and bathrooms. But in here, uh, the boys are just finishing the structural tongue and groove ceiling that you can see on this fabulous prefabricated glue lamb timber frame structure that makes up the ceiling of the kitchen, living room, dining room. Big shout out to Fraserwood Industries uh, for doing all the prefab work on the timber frame there. So uh, as you can see, nice big open space. And what you see up top is all new. Uh, the shot that we saw down below, that is all the original structure. So we kept the foundation, uh, we kept all the bottom floor framing uh, and uh, we have framed everything above as new, uh, which is not only um, really transforming the house, but has an enormous savings on the embodied carbon of construction here as well. And we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, later on in a few future posts. Let's quickly go on upstairs and have a look at the view from the master bedroom. Really awesome view here of the creek that runs in behind the house. and. As you can see, as I pan over, that's Whistler Mountain in behind the trees there. And as we come over this way, over the roof of the house, just in behind the trees, that's Blackcomb Mountain. As you can see down here, uh, another new house being built. Somewhat of a similar strategy. They're using insulation on the outside of the building to improve their wall performance, much in the same way that uh, we're using here. We're using a similar material, but this uh, material here is uh, got graphite impregnated in it so we actually get about a 25 percent bump on the insulation value per inch with the black EPS as opposed to the white EPS they're using next door. So similar strategies uh, just a little bit better performance in our wall here and at a later post um, we will talk a little bit about what those insulation strategies are both in the walls and the ceiling that help get us to a place where we could produce as much energy as we use when we go to put our solar panels on the roof. Um, and that's what makes us a net zero ready or a net zero home. All right, well, stay tuned for future updates. And uh, if you want to get posts on those, then make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us along on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks.